Hi. Today I'm trying to finish this um, uh, texturing for this building here. I had done this, but the problem is, well, there's a couple problems. One is there's this, that this particular UV island is turned the wrong way. Um, and also these pieces here, I'd like uh, them to look more like this than have that um, horizontal grout there, this one and this one over here. And also I need to um, do something with the garage door because what happened is I went ahead and added some edges here to make it look more like this. So the problem is, is I've got to, well, two things. One, I've got to alter the UVs so that I get the kind of results I want. And two, once I do that, I want to save all of these materials um, so I don't have to redo them all again when I bring in the new UV, um, the new UV map. So how does one do that? Well, um, at least the way I do it is uh, smart materials, and it's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a new group here, and I'm going to call this. Um, well, and I'm going to put ZZ underscore at the beginning, and then I'm going to call it uh, Warehouse uh, Materials, something like that. And I'm going to put all of these things in that group, in that uh, uh, folder right there. And then I can make this folder a smart material. So if I would have kept all those folders uh, separate, I would have had to create a, uh, a smart material for each one. So what I can do now is right click and where is it? Create smart material right here. And once I do that, there it is. So it's gonna think of it, there it is. So that's that group of all these materials. And that's all the color, uh, bleh, all the color selections as well. So, how does that help us? Well, let's give it a give it a try. So I'm gonna first alter this UV map here. Um, I think what I ought to do is re UV map this guy, the garage door. Let's do that and get that back in place. So, oh, I don't think I. Oh yeah, I turned these on, but it's not gonna work over here, is it? Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm just going to unwrap this. Uh, I'm going to change to conformal. And then um, let's see, what is this? So, oh good, so that's the top of it, good. So it is in the right orientation. And then I'm just going to take this and put it back where it was, just in the general area. I mean, I, I'm not going to ever get it exactly the same. Oops, I just hid that. There we go. And I'm just going to put it right in here. Okay. Um, the next thing was, what was the next thing? Oh, it was these guys here. So this guy right here and this guy right here had kind of a problem in that they had those horizontal grout lines. So I'm just going to take these and kind of put them right I don't know, put them right here in line with these guys that are okay. Let's try that. Um, what else? Oh, this guy over here. This guy right here was oriented in the wrong direction, right? So this guy right here, let's just take him and rotate that 90 degrees and put that right in here. Okay, now... What we need to do is re-export this out um, so we can take it into uh, Substance Painter. So let's go over here. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save as a new file here. Um, let me get this going again. There we go. Now, so we need to export file. Export FBX, selected objects, and I'm going to put it in exports. I'm going to call it three. Okay. 
Now, let's go over and take it into Substance Painter. So let's create a new one here. And I'm going to bring in that three, right? That's the one I just created. Okay. And, oh, I want to save this. I'll save that. Okay, so here's the new um, model with the new UV map here. You can see that here. You can see how I've moved them here, right? So this is the new UV map. All right. So what I'm going to do first is uh, bake all the textures, of course. we got to hit bake. I'm going to change this to 2048. And we're just going to do all of those. So all the material IDs are still the same. In fact, let me go back and make sure I gave... Um, did I give that garage door a material ID? Let me check. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Okay. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go back to the layers, and I'm just going to take this smart material that I created and drag it over here and drop it. And it's going to think. And there we go. Huh? Not bad, huh? I love smart materials. So it looks like I didn't quite get these where I wanted them to be. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Um, however, I did get this. Let me uh, move the lights around. You can kind of see that there. I did get that in place. That's good. Um, so I can go back and redo that um, UV map for these guys, but I don't know that it's really going to matter all that much. Uh, but what I do want to do is go ahead and get the garage door done. So um, let's create a new group. And I'll just call this garage door. And um, what do I want on this? I think I want a painted metal. I think I have one in here. Here, this guy right here. So I'm going to drag this over into that group. It's going to put it on everything. <laughs> There's a good look. And... Uh, I'll create a mask with color selection and grab that. Okay, so that's not exactly the color I want. And that's fine. What color do I want? Let me see. Pink? No, I'm not going to do a pink. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else. It's going to be more of a white, I think. Let's do that. Um, bring that over here like this. Kind of a whitish gray. Maybe like that. Okay, it's a little too shiny. I don't like know that I really let me there, yeah, something like that. Okay. Um what else do I want to do here? Well grunge amount. Yeah, we could put a little more grunge on there. There you go. Rust amount. Yeah, I could do bring that down a bit. Um, I don't like it so... Uh, shiny, and I think that helps. Dust amount. Okay, that's that's not bad. But those are awfully bright orange. Is there anything I can do? Well, let's hit random seed and let's see if we can find something else that we like. Maybe even change the scale. Maybe if I play with the scale a bit. Well, that's not bad. Let me try that random seed again. Just looking for something that isn't... Yeah, that's not bad. Or white. Yeah. I kind of believe that. I don't believe that center one in the middle. Let me hit the random seat again and see if I can get something that I, I like a little bit better. Oh, there you go. 
There you go. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So there is the texture of the building. I'm going to save this and I'll call it uh I'll call it 3 here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. So let's now take this back into Blender and hook it up to a material. Um, you know, I created a template, and sometimes when I create, once sometimes when I update Substance Painter, it blows away my export templates, but did it. No, here it is. So I've got this Blender PBR that I use, and what I've done is I've built it so it's got a base color, metallic, and rough, normal, and emissive, which I almost never need, but I have it there just in case. And let's put it somewhere um, a little bit more useful. Um, I'll find my textures in here, and I'll create a new folder, and we'll call this uh, warehouse exterior and we'll call this one number one all right let's export this out oh it's at 2048 good that's what i want let's give it a try and so uh, these are just going to export out i'll go ahead and open the folder and there they go we've got my four textures there ready to go okay Let's uh, go over to Blender and let's see if we can hook them up. Uh, I'm going to go back to object mode here. Um, I guess let's go to the UV layout. I kind of like this layout a little better than the uh, sh uh, shading here. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, let's do this. Okay, so now this guy does not currently have... A, um, a material on it. So let's go ahead and create a material. Let's call it uh, Warehouse Exterior 01 again. And let's now see if we can bring those in. Um, I wonder if I can... Where is that uh, file browser? Let's see if this will help me. What I want to do, um, here we go. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> here we go. Textures. What did I call this? Warehouse. Here. Okay, so here we go. Um, there we go. So we want the base color first, right? Let's drag that in, and uh, we can hook that up to the color. All right. Uh, the next one, let's uh, do the metallic. We'll drag that in. And for this, we're going to want um, this to be non-color data, because it's really a black and white or grayscale image. Um, we want roughness, same thing. I'm gonna give this right there, hook that up, and non-color. Then the normal, we wanna bring that in. And uh, let's put this down here. Let's bring in a normal map here. And then I'll hook the color up, hook the normal up, change this to non-color, and there we go. Okay, so I think that helps. Let's see, let's give it a try. Let's go over to our look dev, and yeah, there we go. All right, let me go back to layout, look dev. Let's bring everything else back. So there we go in our We've got one building done. <laughs> oh, what's this? What is this? 
No. I forgot these. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, can you believe that? So, what do I want to do with those? Do I want to do this all over again? I mean, of course I don't have to do it all over again. I can take it back in. You know what? I'll do that some other time. I'm just not in the mood to go back through that whole 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 process again. That sucks. But I'll do that a little bit later. Um all right. So let's go back. And I think I'd like to work on another building. I think I'm in the mood to do a little bit of modeling here. So let's um, see what we want to do. This is kind of interesting. Let's open this up and see what this is. Okay. Yeah, we've got some basic elements here. Got the garage door, a door, a window, a couple windows. There's another garage door over here. Oh, I see. It's pretty much the same door and window, door and window. Well, it looks like it's basically flipped, right? And then we've got what is this? Looks like gutters. Maybe pipes here. These little pillars so you don't run into the building when you're back in the truck in. Those have a name. I don't remember what they are. They begin with a B, right? I don't know. Um, all right, so let's let's work on this. I'm kind of uh, kind of jazzed about working on this. Let's let's do that. Okay. So, where do I want to put it? I feel like I want to put it right here. This looks more like what it would be than that. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. So, what I want to do is take this guy and move it out of the uh, building templates. There it is. Um, I'll create a new collection for it. We'll call it Building 2. Okay. I'll put that in there. Okay. So let's um, hide everything else. I guess I don't need the ground in there either. And for this I've already got the bottom and the and the back removed because I don't want any of that in here. I, I'm never going to see around the other side of those things. Um, I kind of think I go down like that. So it has this step pattern here. Do I want that? I kind of think I do. All right, so what I'm going to do then is go like this. So that's where one's going to be. That's where the other's going to be. Okay. There's one step, and there's two. Okay. Now, okay, uh, let's get the garage doors in there. Let's do that. Mm, can't really see there. There we go. So I would imagine the garage doors are going to be the same height, right? That's, I'm going to go with that. I had to bring in my human height reference object. Here he is. So I'll put him right in here. So if that's human height, the garage door looks like, 
Yeah, it looks like it could be about that high. All right. Over here, let's take these. Move those about to here. Okay. Let's do that again over here. Okay. Oh, I've got it on individual orion origins. That's why I wasn't able to scale. It takes me a little while, but I figured out sooner or later. All right, so now <clears throat> there's the garage doors. It's not as long as this, so I'm not going to be able to do everything. So I may do one door and two windows here. So I'm going to probably do one door and two windows and not these over here. So, and that's good. That's, <laughs> that's plenty. Um, put an edge in here, put an edge in here, and then this is going to be the door width right there. And uh, this door is flush with the ground. This door isn't. I like flush with the ground. It's easier. So um, if this is a human height, I'm going to put it about right like that. All right. So that's going to be our door. And this is going to be our garage door here and here. And then... Um, it looks like the top of these windows are at the top of the door. So let's go with that. Like that. And then, um, how far away do we want these? Maybe I could do that. So this, these are the windows. Okay, so we got the windows, the doors, garage doors, and then we need this little guy up above the door. I kind of like that. That's, that's kind of nice. So let's do that. I like that there. Okay. I feel like we need one more right there. Okay. So let's get all of these in place now. I'm going to extrude them all in just a bit so I can figure out which ones are which. So let's get the doors in first. There we go. There's the garage doors. Uh, here's the door and the window up top. Okay. And then the windows. Where would I going to put those? I think right there. Okay. All right. So we've got those pretty well blocked in. Um... So I think I do want to pull those back a little more because what I want to do now, okay, so I'm going to do this first. I'm going to do this side first and I'll select this edge and I'm going to edge split it. 
And then I want to take this guy. No. Did I not get those split out? Let's see. Yeah, I did. oh, I didn't get the bottom split out. That's the problem. Gotcha. Forgot about that. So now I should be able to hit L. There we go. So now that's split out. Oh, we still got something going on there. All right. Uh, can I... I can rip that, right? Let's try that again. Now do I have it? Yes, finally. Okay, so now I've got that whole thing off of there. That's going to be the garage door right there. Then what I've got is this piece all the way around that trim, all the way ar around there. Um, how do I want to do that? I mean, I could just bring it in. I could do that. Since now we've got these split out, I could take this. Hmm. All right. <laughs> what do I want to do here? Ah, let's just go for it. Um, SY, like that. And then I'm going to deselect these and pull that other guy down. Oop, one right there. Now pull that guy down. Okay. I think I'm going to bring him out just a bit too. Hmm, I don't need all this. I do not need all of this. Whoa. Hmm, okay. Don't need all that junk on the back. Let's get rid of that. Now, I can take that and extrude it out just a smidge. Yeah, something like that. Now these guys, so we've got several, we've got ridges and we've got these uh, oval pieces. Hmm. Well, the good thing is, is once I'm done with one, I could just copy it over and move it over to the other one, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is uh, let's get rid of all these. We don't need those right now because... I want to grab, oh, did I really do that? All right. <laughs> so what's happening is because I don't have any edges, I can't insert an edge loop. So what I need to do is add at least one th this way. And then I can uh, select these and get rid of them. There we go. Okay, now, now I can add some more. So we can add quite a bit here. Um, I've got 18 cuts. Yeah, that looks good to me. And then uh, I'll do the same thing I did before. Uh, bevel edges. Pull out a bit. And then... Uh, Let's select all of these. Then I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. And now I can go back to individual origins. To scale in the Z. And that'll bring those out just a bit like that. 
Uh, what happened? What did I just do? <laughs> oh! I know what I did. Let's undo that. Let's undo that. So what I need to do, let me undo this back. There. I need to add a little point in there. Or extrude these out. That's right. I was I I was extruding these out. That's right. Okay. That's what happens. You lose your train of thought and you forget what you're doing. All right, so now let's take these and extrude them out just a smidge. Wrong way. Go like that. How's that? Yeah, so that gives us those ridges. And then that's when I can come back and uh, with the ind individual origins, scale in the Z. Bring these in just a bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Now, I want these guys. Um, so I'm thinking Boolean. Right? Let's give it a, give it a, a shot here. I'm going to bring the cursor there. Let's hide this guy. Um... So I guess what we could do is it could be a cube with a bevel, right? Uh, that's not a cube. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, so if we're looking at it from the top here, I'm going to scale it in the Y. And I guess what we could do is just select those edges and give them a nice bevel. And increase the uh, segments like that. Bring that in. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Okay. Um, R Y nine zero to turn it, and now let's figure out where we can put it. So there's three of them. Oh, there's uh, <laughs> six of them, okay. Or do we just want to put it in there, you know, and not worry about cutting a hole in it at, at all? We could just have this be the object itself. What if we did that? What if we just said, uh, this was it? Like this and this. And then this. Oops, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. What if we said it was just that? You know? Let's try this. Let me grab that edge there. Oops. Uh, let's see. There we go. Something like that. Uh, 
Oh, I've got individual origins on again. That's why I am not able to scale like that. So what if we just did it like that, you know? Not even uh, did any Boolean or anything. What if we just did that? And then we put our 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 textures on on that. I I could live with that. <laughs> Let me uh Yeah, let's 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 do that. All right. Let's see if I can uh place these like that and then uh, these are down like this yeah let's try that sure why not all right let's get all this uh, done over on the other side as well And these edges down here that I forgot the last time. Let's split those out. Let's delete this. All right, there it is. All right, so, but we don't need that, right? We just delete that because we're going to take this guy over here as well as these guys. Oh, those are are separate objects currently, so let's get those into this object. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well. There we go. Okay, so let's get these guys. All of that. Let's duplicate it. Move it over. Okay. Yeah, so now we just need to create that trim around the garage door again. All right, so how do I do this again? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, extrude. Scale in the Y. And then deselect these. And then drag that down. Okay. And, oh, that's right. We don't need all of these. Let's get rid of these back here. I mean, this is an, a an animation, so the n number of polygons isn't gonna be that big of a problem. Did I just, what did I do there? I feel like I d deleted too much. No, I guess not. There we go. Okay, um, and then these guys here, we want to extrude those out just a bit. Okay, garage doors. Next, door. Um, I feel like that door is a little too narrow now. Is that? No, I guess not. And the windows here. Well, let's take a look here. So once again, here is our door. 
get rid of these edges. I'm going to edge split this. Um, well, actually, before I do, I think I want it to be a little bit deeper, like that. It looks like it's pretty far in there. Something like that. And I want to get rid of this. Okay. And if I select these and then go to edge mode and then deselect these edges, now I can edge split that around the ends. And now that should be its own thing. Okay. So there we've got the door. Um, this little bit, I don't really care about the arched part on the top. That'll just make my life more difficult. I don't want that. But let's kind of block this out. Mm. Let's get that a little bit wider. Oh, I've run out of music. Let me see what else I want to do here. Uh, what do I want to listen to? <laughs> How about Two Door Cinema Club? I like those guys. Uh, game show. Play. Okay. All right. So this and this. That can go, this can be all of that in there. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to bring this in. Um, I'm going to go to edge mode, deselect that. Oops. Deselect this edge right there. Edge split it. Now I can grab this, and that's its own thing now. This is just so I can insert a whole a whole lot of edge loops in here, like for all these kind of crossbars, but I won't be extending all those edge loops all the way across all of the building, kind of like um, with the garage doors here. So that's, that's the reason why I edge split those pieces, just so I can insert edge loops to my heart's content. Um, it doesn't mean you have to, by any means. I'm not, I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, so let's do this. I'm going to get rid of this now. Uh, let's do two here. There we go. Now, if I take all of these edges and bevel them, now that's too much. You know, I'm getting different widths on the bevels here. So what I'm going to do is apply the scale for the whole object then bevel and see what I get here. That's better, that's what I want. All right, let's take that down. Now, with these selected, I'll just extrude out like that. All right, so we got that. Uh, what else? Um, well, I'm going to have to do like a doorknob and stuff, but I don't want to do that right now. Oh, and there's like little panels here. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, let's do those little panels there. Let's see. I want to move this up. Put this down here. Let's try this. Um, they really look like they're, oh, you know what I can do? I can take this, bevel it, like 
that. There we go. Now I can take these guys. Do they look like they're the same? They really don't, do they? How did that happen? All right, let's try that. Let's uh, inset, bring those in, bring that. Are they coming out or are they going in? Oh, they look like they go in before they come out. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's try that again. I don't know. I'm not an architect. What do I know? There we go. All right. So that just, I don't know. It's kind of a little, it's a silly addition. It really is, but it kind of looks dumb. But <laughs> Oh, it'll be fine. <coughs> okay. Let's uh, work on this guy up here. Once again, I'm going to split it out so I can add edge loops bring that back switch to edge mode deselect that uh, edge split here we go okay <clears throat> so I'm going to put it right about here then I think what I just need to do is inset it and then uh, and 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 then push in with extrude like that, right? Sure, why not? Okay. Windows. What do I want to do with these? Well, windows are a little bit different. I mean, I can just like I did on this one. Oh, uh huh. I'm building one. Here we go. Like I did on this one. I just, I just, well, I just put window panes in here and didn't even worry about it here. But like these are uh, single hung windows. So they're going to have two parts to them. And do I really care that much? That's, <laughs> that's the issue. Um, I don't know that I do. Let's see. Let's let's see what I can do here. Uh, let's edge. Well, I'll push this in first. Give it a, a little more room here. Then edge split that. And now we have this. And then what I could do, I guess, I'll just. Um, I won't do the whole uh, two-part single-hung windows. I won't do that. I'll just. Let's just inset this um, let's create these two like that uh, I'll bring them up a little bit higher than center and then we take these two and extrude them in there done right window <laughs> That's what I like to see. So uh, let's see if we can just, um, can we fit that in there? That's, is that going to be the same size? Let's try. Let me uh, grab this, pull it back, split it out. And, just, and actually we can just delete that. Then let's take this guy. and duplicate it, move it over. Looks like it's slightly smaller than the opening here. Oops. Oops, what's going on here? Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna take this out just a hair. There. Okay, that'll work. Now, we also have a sign up here. 
And I kind of, I like that. I could create an old for lease sign, you know? Yeah, let me just add that up here. Um, I'll move the cursor here and just add it right here. Yeah. Uh, we don't need all of this back here. 